Hello, 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 it is Sir Jaxie, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Gunslinger. Yes, that's right, the Gunslinger. Uh, it's a new class. We're actually not going to look at the Gunslinger just yet because I got level up to that. So we're going to take a technically take a look at the Technist. That is the character that once you take Check a the basic hit, information window. the... Um, bar once you ascend, you ascend to become a gunslinger. So, having said that, why are we doing this video? Well, the gunslinger, for those of you who don't know, is a brand new class within Aeon, within the 4.0, a Dark Betrayal patch, update, expansion, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to take and actually be doing a look at all of the classes as we go along, but right now we're going to take and just focus on the Gunslinger. And we are going to be a Gunslinger Asmodian. So, without any further ado, let's get right to the game. Okay, so first things first, let me set up my UE here. Change weapon, rest. Bandages. And you can just see my first skill as a gunslinger is Precision Shot 1. And it inflicts 106 magical earth damage on a target within 20 meters of me. It has a 0 second cast time and a 2 second cooldown. We also have our regular attack. In case you're wondering, there is my gunslinger. That is the basic outfit. They can wear cloth or leather. If we take a look at our character profile, we can see that I have a jerkin for practice and breeches for practice. I also have a pistol for practice. That's the starting equipment that you get. You get 100... Health potions, darn it, I did not want to just use that. Well, 99 health potions, 100 mana potions, 20 bandages to start out, and 12 Raider's Fruit Juice, which is a food that takes and gives you, um, don't say what it says, it E to speed healing, so it makes your healing go faster. To start out, my main hand attack is a magic attack 23 with a 218 accuracy and a crit strike of 3. An attack speed of 1.8 and speed of 6.0. Now, part of the reason that I decided to do these videos is because I was playing as a gunslinger uh, the, the character I created in my gunslinger character creation video with my wife and she got upset because she was playing a muse which is the the class that ascends into the song weaver which is the new class um, and she did feel that she could get her attacks off by the time I had killed things and if you check out my video on the uh, song weaver you'll see that even though they do have a decent attack their starting attack and their main attack is with a has a one second cast time so for every one shot that I was getting off basically I would get two shots off for every one shot she would get off and it does make it a little frustrated, I suppose, if you're a That's character well, who's used to tanking and stuff. If you're used to tanking, you do not want to take and be a song weaver. But then again, if you're used to tanking, I don't recommend a gunslinger either. Okay, you'll have seen the sprig workers around here. They grew braver as Asmodia paid them less attention. They're pack creatures, so as their numbers swell, so does their confidence. Just look around. The Sprigs aren't exactly shy now, are they? Eh, not exactly. 
I want you to join the other raiders and take them down a few notches, Lady Jaxie. Their nuts, huts are already burning. Put some bodies on the ground. That'll remind the Spriggs that they may live in Ishlogan, but we own it. Okay, we'll accept that. And I always mix this one up. Um, good to know you'd want to save face after passing out. Go out into the basin and kill four sprig workers. Return to me as soon as you're done. Consider it May done. I on watch you. I don't know why. I always go to him first in this area. When the way they want you to go is this is actually a character you should go to Was first. The NPC you, you should go to first. I saw you collapse. What happened to you? Did a sprig catch you napping? Did you slip? Are you sick? Don't slow us down, Lady Jaxie. We've got raiding to do. I'm fine. It was nothing. Hmm. I'm glad you're okay then. Quickly, Vandar wants to see you. He saw you on the ground a minute ago, so you'll have to hop to it. You don't want him thinking you were sleeping on the job. Hurry, he's waiting for you. That's more like it. Vandar is standing over there, right by the milestone. Just keep to the path and hustle over there. I'm on my way. Come back any time. Since we already talked to him. Okay, let's take and track these. And then let's go find, turn on our map. here. Move this up here. Sprig workers are, should be all around us. Really wish I went, they would just take and put it onto my mini map when it's open. My transparent map rather than opening the big map. So, as you can see, we can get off quite a few good shots right off the bat. Without, I mean, that was an instant kill for the most part. Okay, let's go find some sprig workers that aren't being all attacked. Not over here. There's one. Because even with the two second cooldown, it follows up immediately with your regular attack. And it really does. It just takes them right out. Um, the Gunslingers are a very good DPS. character to play. Very quick, very high damage, no, relatively high damage. This is, though, to keep in mind, just the beginning area. So I'm not sure exactly what type of um, damage we're going to be doing later on. I'm sure it's going to probably continue, um, but I do think that there may be some balancing that goes on with the gunslingers in the very near future as they do seem to be from my experience slightly possibly overpowered now I'm not saying I'm not advocating for them to be you know instantly nerfed but I do think that NC soft is going to want to take a little bit of a look at them a little bit more and see if they do need to take and tone some stuff down that's the wrong target. That's the wrong target. Because as you can see, even right at the beginning here, I'm one-shotting some of these, whereas when I was playing as the Songweaver in this same area, it would take me five, six, sometimes six shots before I could take it actually kill them. As for Lumbra. <sighs> Let's see here. Lady Jaxie, feeling better? Surprised to see you on the ground. You look tougher than most of the raider wannabes we get around here. You were lucky we weren't in a hurry. 
I sent the others off to raise the sprig dwellings around here. It won't happen again. That's what I want to hear. We need all the techness we can get our hands on, especially with these quotas of ours. So, enough talk. There's work to be done. Okay. As for Lumbra. Back so soon. You don't look hurt. You finished your mission already? Look, I've slain the sprigs. A bloody task well done. You fully recovered from your collapse. Here's your reward, Lady Jaxie. Take it, and no more falling to the ground. Okay. The spring situation is well in hand. Smell their burning huts. I seem to... You seem to be back to full strength, and I don't need you here for the cleanup. Head over to Gonarantan's tent. Tell Gahatan that the Sprigs are fleeing our wrath. No problem. Good. Now, hurry to meet with Gahatan. Oh, one more thing. Avoid mentioning your collapse. Eh? Uh, he'll only make Azlik and me look weak for waiting for you. To get to Gahatan's tent, simply follow the path to the north. The camp is downhill at the northern bend. And hurry if you... If you report late to him, we'll all suffer the consequences. I'll Goodbye. go now. So, we just gotta go off to Gahatan. Oh, there's a beetle there. Why don't we go kill it? Your attacks are rooted in that if you move once you start doing one of your special attacks, you will take an end up interrupting the attack. Yeah, see, I'm one-shotting. And I, I don't like... I mean, I like to have a little bit of a challenge on games, you know? I don't want to take and just one-shot everything because of... with my lowest level attack. And yeah, I am kind of taking an odd route to get to the dude we need to get to. I'm not exactly sure why. Other than, well, why not? That's the wrong part. Okay, we are leveling up quick here. We're already up to level three. There is a nice chain skill within this game, within the Gunslinger class as well. But that comes later on. I'll take and show you that in a later video. See, I could just sit here and hit tab and wipe out all of these things. Not exactly my idea of fun. Oh wow, okay, we... Let's put a little bit more of a challenge here and see if I can't do more than one. Darn it! <laughs> oh, that's why I get for taking out half a dozen critters all at the same time. Oh well. Tried to heal myself, but wasn't quick enough. Not a big deal. I'll we'll just actually take the road this time. Let's get this survey out the way. I've already done this survey on what it's part of the um can't even think of what it's called. A Ateria Inde uh Atlas, that's what it is, Atlas. And it's a reward that you could get, but you can only get it on one character. So, I already got it on one of my mains a long time ago. But it is a nice little system that they have that mixes online with offline. It's also a little bit of a pain in the butt for those of you who only have one monitor. 
it's a little bit easier for me having two monitors to be able to keep track of that. Let's see if we can take a shortcut over to the camp. There we go. And there he is. As for Lumbra. Uh, what are you doing here? If I find you are wasting time and there's work to be done, I'll show you the back of me hand. Greetings, Technist. I assume Vandar sent you. Use report? I hope. Well, are they dealing with this brig problem up there? Many sprigs have been killed. Very good. Normally the sprigs are just a nuisance, but it seems their nerve grows as their numbers do. They aren't exactly a challenge for Algron raiders like us, but that doesn't mean we can afford to ignore them. While you're here, I believe Vanar needs help with a job or two. Okay. So, let's see what Vanar wants. Nice day, isn't it? Okay. Other raiders might crow about ending the Sprig man Menace, but you know what? We could be putting Sprig Stupidity to work for us. Consider this. A farmist, farmer harvests five bags of grain one day. That evening he stores them in his granary, but when he comes back to the granary the next morning, he finds it has all been stolen. Yeah, what's your point? Bear with me. I'm getting there. Later that second day... The farmer gathers another five sacks of grain, but this time he knows that his granary is not secure, so he takes the sacks into his house. Common sense, right? Sprigs, they don't have the common sense of a farmer. Even after we steal the food they gather, they store their baskets in exactly the same places. Bad for the sprigs, sure, but great for us. I want you to go to the sprig den and fetch me sprig fruit. Do this, and I will reward you well. You seem like the sort with some common sense, and then just talking some more about the sprig baskets, and Ion's I'm on love. my way. Asphalt's guidance. So we need to mark that there. Make sure all of my quests are marked off. Okay. Fruits. Spring then. I want let me locate it. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, they're all around us, but the den is over this way. There's actually a few dens out this way. As you can see, a two-second cooldown, not much. Oh, a sword. How about that? Yeah, the two-second cooldown on this is absolutely not even noticeable, and at least at these beginning levels. It's blonde fire. Okay, two of three. Let's go find our last fruit basket. Ok, 
Okay, so we could take this back now. At least I ain't one-shotting them anymore. Your target is too far away. So move closer if my target's too far away. I'm not even, for the record, playing on the fast track server. I'm just on the regular server right now. Probably should be on the fast track server. I'd probably be up to a level five the or advantage six is ours. right now. Oh, there you are. I was wondering what had happened to you. Let's see that fruit. Here you go. Even if those sprigs are stupid, they certainly know the difference between good fruit and bad fruit. These look perfect. These are for you. I'll see the rest of the food gets on the next caravan to settled lands. Good work, Raider. Curse this darkness. I can't read or write orders when the darkness sets in. And we don't get much wood for the fires. I know, I know. The darkness makes us stronger. I've heard it all as a youngster. Those arrogant Elios sure have it easy. Though bathing in the sun and never struggling like me just to make out Algorn's handwriting. I have a temporary solution though. It's not the sun, but at least Garrethan won't complain about me using all the firewood. What's your idea? Look around. Which creatures in this environment catches your eye? Either the hill sparky or the highland sparkle, right? It's their glowing tails. The insects use them to attract prey and mates but I could make use of the natural luminescence too. Well, don't the tails go dark when they die? They don't go dark right away. In fact, their abdomens stay all right for several hours after you sever them from the thorax. But I'm sure the proper names of bug parts don't concern you. And I have a heap of paperwork in any case. Lady Jaxie, I need you to catch Hill Sparky or two, Hill Sparky or two, as well as a few Highland Sparkles, and gather their glowing spheres for me. I'll sort my paperwork and await your return. Great, thank you Lady Jaxie. Remember, you can only get a glowing sphere from a Hill Sparky or Highland Sparkle. I should think three lights will suffice for the reports I have to get filed. Please hurry, I'm behind schedule as it is. Well, I'll Files get right on it then. Asphalt's guidance. Let's go kill some Sparkies. There's a sparkle. One down, two to go. Two down, three to go. No, two down. Uh, however many. I need one more. That's what it is. Where's another Sparky? Yeah, there's one. That's going way out. Oh well. That's an invalid target. Pest extermination. Exterminate all the sparkle in the area. Okay, we're done with that. Probably should have cracked it. Oh well. Where am I going? The wrong way, obviously. 
Okay, so we're going to take and wrap it up after we turn this quest in. We've been running now for, oh, geez, almost half an hour. So, we're going to turn this in. Give the dude his abdomens. Sparkle spheres, whatever they're called. Nice day, isn't it? Good, you're back. These reports really should be up in the village already. Tobo Tabu is going to be furious. Show me the spheres you've gathered. Here's what I found. These are perfect. Thank you, Lady Jaxi. Finally, I can get those blasted reports finished. Then maybe Tobu and Olgorn will let me do some real raiding. Okay. I still have a few reports to get through, but I'm done with the urgent ones. They need to be delivered to Tabu, second in command of the Olgorn raiders. These reports are highly important, Lady Jaxi. Tabo and Olgorn need to know that we're making progress on our quotas. That we're doing our job as raiders. More to the point, without these reports, none of us get paid come cavern time. Caravan time. Uh, who usually delivers the reports? Usually I deliver them myself, Technus. But I'm so very busy. Look, just take these up to Tabu, will you? I'm including some of the fruits you collected as a gift for Tabu, so make sure you don't bruise them. These reports are a little late, so I'm hoping he'll consider the fruit my way of saying sorry. Can you deliver the reports? Oh, sure. Good, you should find Tabu in the center of Adele Village. He hardly ever leaves Algorn's side, so if you see the boss, you'll probably see Tabu. Oh, and one last thing. Be sure to mention that I prepared the fruit. I'm tired of being on Taboo's bad side. I'll mention you. Okay, so. I think we're going to wrap it up here. This has been Sir Jaxie. I hope you've enjoyed our episode of The Gunslinger. We'll take and follow along and do some more gunslinging in the very near future. And then show you how they progress and how the Technus levels up to Ascension and becomes the Gunslinger. So, if you liked the video, please go ahead and give us a like down below. If you haven't subscribed yet and want to see more of our Aeon videos, please do subscribe so you can be notified as soon as we take and release new videos. We'll also be doing Rift and Dragon's Profit videos. I'm also in the process of setting up and starting a Dungeons and Dragons series. So, for more on all of that, do make sure you subscribe. If you need to take it, if you want to get in contact with me, I answer all comments, or you can message me here on YouTube, or you can find me on any of the social networking sites above, including Twitter and Facebook, at uh, Sir Jaxi. Also, we stream on a regular daily basis on Twitch TV. That's also under Sir Jaxi. Until next time, this is Sir Jaxi fading out.